Okay, so I'm making a, a small mini moderator. I'm calling it a shroud extension. It will have some moderator function. The FX Streamline. I got a longer air tube for it. Mine's a 22 caliber version, which comes with a shorter air tube than the 25 and 30 cals. So I got the 25 30 cal air cylinder, and it's longer than the barrel. So I'm making this uh, moderator that'll be the same diameter as the shrouds to uh, extend it out to a little bit longer than the air cylinder for aesthetic reasons. And it'll provide a little extra quietness. So I faced the end of this one inch stock and now I'm center drilling it for a live center. We're going to turn the OD down to 0.8 inches. And we're going to cut it off at four and a half inches long. Face and center drill the other end. Quarter inch drill halfway through both ends. Yep, and then on and on and on and on. It's a simple little project. It actually involves quite a few steps. I'm using kerosene as a lubricant. And this lathe is a Logan 920. Get the quick change gearbox. Let's uh, choke up on this. Mmm, tailstock a little bit. Okay. Done with that. And let's see. Let's use this live center. This is the one I need to uh, drill and tap that for a little extension. This uh, barely disengages, but it does, so we're good. There we go. And let's see, we need to get this out here. Get it out like that. Double check my measurement here. Yep, we're going to do four and a half inches. It's quite a bit of extra room to play with. So, put a mark on there. How did I end up with two scales? Okay. Okay. Actually, now I got the live center in there. I want to uh, crack this loose <clears throat> and just make sure. There we go. <clears throat> make sure that's good and centered. Put a little tension on it. Lock it in place. Change out the cutter from the facing cutter to this one. that and put this up into place here and make sure we're going to clear the live center which we won't get a little more angle like that that is going to clear by a mile everything is snug move this up into place 
bada bing. Then I got the uh, carriage stop right here. Apron stop, rather. Like that. Double check that it doesn't move. Very good. Uh, I want to turn up the speed. Adjust the tension with my custom tension knob adjuster. Put it into gear. It doesn't go into gear. Rotate the truck until it goes into gear. And then if we want the apron to move, this guy goes up towards the cross slide. It's like a reverse mnemonic. If it doesn't go into gear, then we move the apron until it fits. But we're good. And we've got it on a fairly coarse cut. And we're going to take it down to 0.8 inches. Here we go. shouldn't do that. That's cultural approbation, right? To do that, to talk like that. Okay, here we go.
kerosene or something, not very well, but it's a light oil. Got a, uh, a digital caliper mounted on top of the tailstock, so I can measure how far the quill goes when I need to for drilling purposes, and it clamps onto the quill, and uh, it was out floating out there a little bit, and it got hung up on the on the cross slide. It's out of the way now. All right, let's see how we're doing. Less talking, more working. Point eight eight. We're looking for point eight. Well, that's not going to do it. <clears throat> and I don't want to hit the final dimension here, point eight six. a little bit more. I want to leave a little bit for a final cut. dimension.
fighter is cutting a little rough. It's probably the speed. 0.83. Let's see if we get a finer cut. Maybe I'll plan on doing two cuts to finish. One to test uh, if a light cut's going to cut good, or maybe I need to put a new sharp edge on the cutter. Not that it matters. It'll be sanded and painted. a fine cut and another 10 pound. Close to the center, I right? center of the axis I am with the cutter. It's got a little bit of chatter. But it's cutting. I'm not gonna worry about it now.
seems to be a little variation in the hardness of the alloy. It's all nice and shiny and then there's a little band there that's not, and then a little band that is, and then there's a little area that's not. Sorry, it's going to be uh, sanded and literally throw my piercing bucket. I think I have time to do that.